to be or not to be? Yeah, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against a sea of troubles and boy opposing and them to die, <laughs> to sleep no more, and boy asleep to say we end the Arctic of the thousand natural shocks that the flesh is here to. <laughs> Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, <laughs> to sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream, oh, I dare to rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we've shoveled off this mortal coil? Must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity a so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The pressure's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, then the spurns that patient merit the unworthy takes. When he himself might quiet his make with a bare bodkin, who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat a weary life? But that the dread... I something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveller returns, <laughs> puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have, than fly to others that we know not of. <laughs> thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus. The night of you, a resolution is sickly in all the pale cast of thought. An enterprise, a great pitch and moment, with regard their currents, turn awry and lose the name of action. <laughs>